Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Absolute Beginner's Guide to Minecraft. The 51st episode, a month later. Wow, that's a big break. Bet you thought it wasn't coming back. Well, here we are where we left off in the last episode. And you're probably all wondering, what was that all about? What's he up to now? I don't ever remember seeing this kind of stuff. Huh? Oxygen mask? Hmm? Oxygen tank? Oxygen gear and some kind of weird frequency module. What's this guy up to? Well, let's find out. Um, We fell through here in the last episode, which was absolutely amazing because... Oh, I'll have to get out. Oh, can I do it? Can I? Can I? Ah, no. Help, I'm drowning. <laughs> ah, a brand new day in a brand new world. What have we got here? Power chest with a rocket launch pad and a tier one rocket. Uh, as you can see, it's creative only because I did a lot of the build in, in the last one at the end on creative. And just to show you what this is a launch pad, you would have caught a glimpse of it in the last episode, and a rocket. And as you can see, I'm very strong. I can hold it up all by myself. Look at me, I'm Hercules. <laughs> Now, I just right click it here, pop it down, there we go, launch pad and rocket. And you can fly me to the moon. And that's where we were at the last episode at the end, we were on the moon. Yes, this is a mod, and this episode is mods, simple as that. Well, you would have seen it in the title, I'm sure, episode 51, mods, kind of gives it away, a bit of a spoiler. But yeah, that's what it's all about. And this particular mod is called Galactic Craft. Now there are hundreds if not thousands of mods. Some of them you may have heard of like Tinker's Construct or Glenn's Gases or Railcraft or Flans Mod or Redstone Paste or Twilight Forest or Music Craft Mod or Carpenter's Blocks or the most popular one is probably Optifine. A lot of people use that. Uh, Biomes are plenty. Oh, and not forgetting Mr. Crayfish is the very, very guy from uh, Minefields. His own furniture mod. We might even have a look at that before we finish this episode. But, there you go. You have that. And I forgot to equip a parachute when I was coming down the last time. <laughs> so, it was amazing that I actually landed in this hole. Out of, you know, there was, hold on, I pulled dirt out of here. So, there was a hole here and a hole here. And I fell down and landed through this one. And my power chest came down beside me. It had a parachute, of course. I didn't. So I could have went splat for the end of the episode and have to shoot it all over again. So I was lucky I didn't have to do that. Anyway, there's no point in me walking around here and trying to suit up. As I'm going to starve by the looks of things first. <laughs> so let me get to show you how to install something that's called Forge. Now, most of these mods are kind of like plugins for the mo the forge uh, uh, mod <laughs> so mod short of course for modification they're adding things to the game as you can see here now if I go into creative I change the game mode uh, it is it one yeah I always get confused <laughs> now if I go into the inventory you can see my normal inventory here but up at the top there's one of two so my normal one is on the one if I go into two You've got Galactic Craft stuff here. Look at all this. All these different rockets, these different oxygen tents, these heavy duty chest plates, all these different things. Look at this NASA workbench schematic for a moon buggy. There's loads of stuff in this. Now I haven't really explored it, but look at this. I could have taken a parachute and be safe. Here's tier three rockets. What have we got here? Raw meteoric iron, titanium ingots. Over here, you've got all the machinery. Look at this. Look at this thing. Look. Wait till I just show you this. This. Look. It may not look much in my hand, but we pop it out here in front of us. Let's see where's good. Let's go down here. There at a patch. Pop that down. Look at that. Now, that is cool, isn't it? I mean, the stuff, the builds in this are fantastic. They're, they're, oh, they're fantastic. We right-click it. You can see this is how we make a rocket. We need certain materials. 
So it's a it's a crafting bench basically, specifically to make a rocket. <laughs> uh, and you have to amass all these stuff. You have to go around and pick up these different ores: aluminium ore, tin ore, copper ore, so on and so forth. And you can build all these groovy things. <laughs> uh, where is it? There's some things that there were at the last episode. You might have caught a glimpse of, and uh, just looking for some of the machines, but looking for something specific. And I can't see it. It's probably staring me in the face. I should have had this prepared. Okay, I found what I'm looking for. Communications dish and this advanced solar panel. This, let's have a look at the communications dish first. First? First? <laughs> look at that. Look at that. That thing is massive. And the way it just moves, the animation in it is beautiful. And then this so solar panel as well. And that follows the sun. Look at that. See, it's following the sun. That will create energy for your other machines. Oh, it's beautiful. But as I say, there are loads, loads and loads and loads of different mods. And it's all down to personal taste, what you want to add. The thing even called too many items. <laughs> uh, but to install it, we're going to look. I'm just going to show you how to install Forge. And then you can put the other stuff in okay so let's look at minecraftmods.com and forward slash how to install minecraft forge so as you can see here you've got good instructions nice and clear and precise of how to install minecraft forge for 1.7 and that's what we need we need it for 1.7.10 so what we're going to do is we're going to download 1.7.10 here's the downloads page you can do that but when you get that and download it what you want to do is you want to open that dot jar file and make sure the install client is selected you see it there that that would be a nice little picture for it install client is selected and click ok once you've this finished you will see a success message hooray <laughs> then you want to do is you want to open up your profile in the launcher you know when you launch Minecraft and you get the play button here. Well, over to the left, you've got your profile. You want to open up the profile for Forge. Or you can create a new profile or edit profile, whichever you prefer. Um, but you want to get it. You want to make sure it's on the Forge profile. Now, you should now see some, when you click play, you'll get this screen up. And you'll down here in the bottom left, you'll see it. As I said, you should get some Minecraft Forge text in the lower left hand of the corner and a mods button below multiplayer. So there you go. See that? And there's your mods button. So congratulations as it says. <laughs> and you can click here to find out how to add mods once Minecraft Forge has been installed. Now we're going to look at what we do for, for the specific one for Galactic Craft if you want to have a look. But again, I'd advise you to click here and find that out yourself of how to install mods for Minecraft Forge, right? And that'll go through exactly. I'll leave that to you because you might want to install something completely different. And they've got lots of mods here on minecraftmods.com. Little plug there. Didn't do anyone any harm. <laughs> if you come here now to mikedoodle8.com mods Galacticraft downloads, on the downloads page basically of Galacticraft's home page, you'll find the installation instructions it asks you to download and install micro uh, minecraft um, forge which we've just covered uh, you can choose the latest forge for the minecraft version you want 1.6.4 1.7.2 or 1.7.10 and you can see that there's three files to download then after that for each build um, for each version so download galactic craft all three files Okay, so we're going for the 1.7.10 um, with the green. Uh, and these ones here. So download these three, each one. Okay, and then what you want to do is you want to locate your .minecraft folder. And in there, you might have or you might not have a mods folder. If you have a mods folder, you just put these three jar files that you've downloaded into the mods folder that's all you do go back restart your game and there it is 
you've got your galactic craft now if you haven't got a mods folder in the dot minecraft folder you just create a new folder and call it mods mods simple as that the important thing to remember is you want to create a new world for this and keep to it and don't open it in 1.8 so you can see down here in the bottom left where it says minecraft forge and i've got the six mods and if i go to mods you can see each and every bit that's there so you've got minecraft forge which is a mod itself and the galactic craft which is kind of like a plug-in to that mod So there you go, Polythes was just during the achievement you've been installed. Thanks for downloading Mr. Crayfish's Crayfish Furniture Mod. Yeah, I'm going to show you a little sneak peek at that one. Uh, I'm still in 1.7.10. I know he has a 1.8 update out. You can look into that if you wish. But I just wanted to show you I have another tab up here now. Not just the two for Galactic Craft items and blocks. I have now Mr. Crayfish's Furniture Mod. Ooh, look at this. Fridge. Fridge! Look at that! A fridge, my friends! And you can put your fuel in your freezer. Look at this! You can put items in here. Keep them in the fridge. Can you keep some dirt in the fridge? No. Okay. Probably just some food. <laughs> uh, what else has he got? Uh, a computer. Okay. A slice of toast. Oh, yummy. Mm, can I eat that? No, I'm full. <laughs> and I can put some toast in the fridge. Yes, I can put some toast in the fridge! <laughs> fire alarm uh, of course a shower there we go so you can get get yourself cleaned up right click in there no what happens here I'm great at showing these things off you think I'd put some practice into it first before I showed up a bird bath Woohoo! <laughs> look at that pretty <laughs> uh, okay there's one I do know about because I remember seeing him doing it in something. I have to just find it. Uh, oh, here we go. Toilet. Now, toilet. There you go. Look at that. What happens if I right click it? Oh, I sit on the toilet. <laughs> oh, dear. Excuse me. Oh, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. <laughs> oh, that's just. Oh, no. We better not press that anymore. That's just getting rude. Oh dear, oh dear. The things these guys come up with. What? I don't know. What next? Oh, let me see. Let me see. There has to be chairs here somewhere. Yes, a wooden chair. And again. Very handy. Let me see. Let me just pop it over here. I'm sitting here and look at our bird bath. And right click. Oh, sorry. Right click the chair. We don't want to. And I can sit down and have a jolly good think. Ah. Well, I hope that's been of some interest, as I say. Uh, you can get any kind of mod you like and add them in. You can make up your own mods, and some of them will conflict, and some of them won't. But uh, make the most of it. Enjoy. I mean, most people end up with loads and loads and loads of mod packs and do their own type of thing. But uh, it's all up to you. Down to the individual, as they say. And I hope you haven't mind waiting a whole month for this episode but i thought you know you have had 50 episodes and that's a lot and we're getting close i suppose to 1.9 coming out now and we'll have a, a little bit of a difference i can get up now actually we'll have a little bit of a difference um in combat and we'll have dual wielding so we might look into some stuff like that but in the meantime before any snapshots come out although they could be out even this week uh we'll have a look at maybe a few other things but that's it for now uh, any questions just uh, leave them in the comments or contact me on twitter either one i usually see them because there's not that many who ask <laughs> okie doke all the best see you in the next one yes there will be a next one uh don't know what on yet but sure we'll see <laughs> all the best bye look at that day look at it <laughs>